No, like that's why they stood. It's been too long. Oh, but it's as long as as um to tell to tell Nana Babu. So, Carol, now yes. the formal way to say goodbye in German. Auf Wiedersehen. You know, in German, the word Auf could mean literally now, literally could mean on, while the word Wiedersehen means to see you again. So, Vida in itself means again, and Zien in itself means to see. So it means see you again on. So it's like saying that's like the literal literal translation now, you know, see you again on. But of course, logically it should not make sense. So that's why, you know, you use it in the formal way of of saying goodbye to friends of people you don't know. So maybe your boss or someone you're just meeting for the first time, someone older than you or, you know, very formal settings and all that. So if you are in such a formal setting and you want to say goodbye to someone, you say, Auf Wiedersehen, Auf Wiedersehen. Of course, with friends, with friends, you know, siblings and all that, you just say choose, I say ciao, you know, that's, that's what you say. But sometimes these days, it's also not too, it's not, it's also common to find people just say choose or ciao, even if they don't know you, or even um, if, you know, yeah, they are older, you are older than them or something. So, it's the, 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 the line you know, between when to use formal and informal these days is not too strong anymore. So it's, it's gradually fading. You know, people just use tools sometimes without, without caring, you know. Um, so, so, but however, for the emphasis of learning, this is a formal way to say goodbye. So if for instance, you were my boss and I was leaving office and I'm saying goodbye to you. I will say Caroline and Vidazian. That's what I will say. And if And I will also re- respond of Vidazin. Yeah, you would also respond by saying of Vidazin. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, but if if you were to see me the following day, maybe in the office again. You know, um, if, if I say Alvidazin, Alvidazin, you can, you can just, if you don't want to respond also Alvidazin, you can just say Bismorgan. Bismorgan, which means see you tomorrow, because I know I'm going to see you tomorrow, right? So I'll just Bismorgan. say Bis, Bismorgan. Bismorgan. But well, if I'm not going to see you tomorrow, I don't know when next I'm going to see you. <clears throat> I'll just say, I'll be the same. So till, you know, okay. like, more or less like saying till next time. You know? <clears throat> yeah. So now it's time for you to teach the viewers and teach me how do I say, I'll be the same in Swahili. Ah, that's why it's very simple. The formal way, or rather the official way of saying goodbye, it's kwaheri. 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 Yeah, good. This is quite some um, straightforward compared to to town, to town, <laughs> nana, bade. <laughs> <laughs> they are all simple, it all depends. <laughs> no, but this is more straightforward. This is more straightforward. Quaere. Okay. Quaere. 
I hope you are not forgetting this one. You know, I don't want to pay for this so I won't forget. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yeah. So, so you said there, are, there is no formal way of saying or informal way rather of saying goodbye in your language. No, no, it's the same thing. You know, cardi is cardi. If I'm telling my my mom goodbye, I'll tell her cardi. If I'm telling my boss Avida Zin, I'll tell him or her cardi. Um, if I'm telling my friends goodbye of Avida Zin. I'll tell them Hadi. That's the same thing. No matter who, what situation, whatever. Kadi is Kadi. Mm. Okay. Literally, Kadi means actually breaking it down a bit. Literally, Kadi means go and come back. That's what it means. <laughs> Literally, go and come back. That's what it means. So it means I'm hoping to see you back. You know, that's basically what it means. Literally. Okay. Literally. Mm. So um, you, you you maybe want to give us a little insight on what um Kwaeri to town Nana Bade means, you know, maybe you know, it means see you next year or see you, see you when I see you. you know, maybe you want to give us a, a little breakdown you know, of it. Just as okay. Cardi means go, or literally means go and come back. <laughs> because car means go and D means come. So it's like saying go and come back. So see you when you come back, sort of. Or see you again, you know, so something like that. <laughs> so it means when I want to tell you to to go, I'll say, I'll tell you car. To go, yeah, go is car, car. And then to come is D. D, 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 D. Yeah. You know, and then it's, it's, it seems it's, since your boy is that. Is a is a is a tonal language just like Chinese, you know. If you say if you say D, you 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 are not saying come, but if you say D, of course you are saying come. You know Chinese too is also tonal. You know when you say okay. something flat in Chinese, when you say um, D, D, D. It's they all mean different things in Chinese. That's why it's a very difficult language because it is by sound. <laughs> Once you say one thing, the same word, the same spelling, but if it's going up, it means something else. Coming down, it means something else. So that makes Chinese a bit, not even a bit, very difficult to learn, you know, because it's a tonal, it's a sound language of sound, you know. Okay. So. Um, yeah, Ibibio is also a bit like that. So when you say um, D, um, someone might not understand what you're saying. But if you say D, yeah, D means come. D means come. Then Ka means go. So you have to say it as Ka, not Ka. <laughs> if you say Ka, <laughs> nobody would understand you. <laughs> so it's a double way. So car. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Car. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. So in Swahili, Tutanana Badai simply means see you later. See you later. Yeah. And also Kwaheri, it's like, how do I say it? Kwaheri simply means like, uh, is it will I say go in peace? Something like peace. that. Yeah. Go or go well. Or go well. Yeah. And then to town Nana Bale is um, See you later. See you later. Yeah. You see. 
now I've learned this Riley tonight and I don't think I'm going to forget. <laughs> you better not forget. <laughs> I don't want to pay any fine at all. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. So. Yeah, so. I, I guess, I guess, um, with this, I believe we can then tell our audience, Kwaeri, we can tell them to tell Nana Bade <laughs> using, you know, all the ways to say <laughs> goodbye, formal, informal. So, you know, we're saying Kwaeri, to tell Nana Bade, we're saying, Avida Zin. <laughs> we are saying what again, Paro? Choose. <laughs> Choose. Ciao. Ciao. We are saying but what? before that, <laughs> before that, remind them to subscribe to our channel, comment, okay. and also share. Yeah, please. Once again, please, please, please subscribe, share, like, comment. Help us grow, help us get to um, at least 50 likes, sorry, 50 subscribers this week. That would really, really be great. So share with friends, tell friends or friends or friends or friends or friends, just as Kara would say. <laughs> tell them to come subscribe. <laughs> Yeah, tell a friend, tell a friend. <laughs> yeah, tell a friend, tell a friend, tell a friend, tell a friend, tell a friend. So, like as many friends, keep the chain going. <laughs> okay. So, this would definitely benefit someone, you know, someone who wants to learn probably German or Swahili or any other African language. The idea of this is to create intercultural um movement relations among Africans and also between um, Africans and Germans. So um, we hope you get to enjoy our content as we bring you more exciting, fun, entertaining and interesting content your way. And stay blessed. See you next time. And we say which language we choose. <laughs> Tutanana, baby. <laughs> <laughs>